Chinese people believe in the philosophy of yin and yang, and the dish today is the perfect example of it. Fish from the river represents the water element, and the chili that is used to remove the moisture inside their bodies represents the fire element. This is Wanzhou grilled fish, the best combination of yin and yang. Hello Chinese foodies, welcome back to our channel. This is Brandon here in Chongqing, and I'm here again with my friend Huang. We're here today to eat some Wanzhou kao yu. It's basically a grilled fish, but with all the seasonings that they use, it's beyond your imaginations. So there's something different like uh, fish here. This one is qian yu. The qian yu is this less bones, but this one is tastes much better than this one. And cao yu is most classic one. So today we're gonna try this cao yu. Wow, Huang, so there's so many flavors up there. Yeah. Which one do you think we should choose? So we're gonna choose spicy and numbing one. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. that's most the you know, flavor, like uh, popular one. The most popular one? Yeah. Is it more spicy than the la No, it's less okay. like, spicy than la Okay, then it should be no problem. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ooh, spicy. All right guys, so we've ordered an appetizer while we're waiting for the fish. And it's this dish here, the vegetables, called jerigan. And it's basically a very interesting vegetable that is only really found in the southern part of China here. And the interesting thing is that actually here in Chongqing is one of the only places in China that they actually eat the, the leaves of the plant. Typically in areas like Sichuan and Guizhou, they only eat the root. So many times they like to chop it up into small pieces and add it as like a seasoning on other dishes. Mm. Their chili sauce that they use is very good. Very xiang, very fragrant. No more chit chat. Let's check out the chef's magnificent cooking techniques. Huang, the fish is finally here, yeah? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, spicy. <laughs> it looks very spicy, yeah. yeah? So what do you usually go for first? You just eat the fish directly or you start with the vegetables on top? So you usually would just took the, I guess, like, you know, chili, mm -hmm. all them to another side. Ah, okay. And when you see the fish, you can choose where you can start. A lot of seasonings on top. Yeah. Is it used just for a decoration or do you eat this or no. what? Just for decoration. Ah, okay. <laughs> But if you like Korean, then you can ask you know, the waitress add to some more, add right? more. See, this is potato and the lutas. I want to try the potato. It looks very spicy. And uh, this is called konyak tofu. Yeah, konyak jelly, this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, celery. Celery. Yeah, yes. celery, yeah. I'm sure the flavor is very strong with all the chilies and stuff. Yes. Let's so try the fish. the fish. Oh, there we go. This Mm. I mean, it's spicy. Obviously, you have so many of the chili peppers and things like this. But you can tell that there's so many other spices inside. You get like a very fragrant flavor to it. Like um, even the sesame seeds and things inside has a very strong flavor. So the flavors inside, it almost kind of tastes like a combination between like hot pot and barbecue almost. It's like a perfect combination of the two sort of flavors together, you know? It's very, very good. Also, the way they cook it, you know, like it's kind of cooking in the oil, but they also have like the the sort of uh, barbecued vegetables on top and things like this. Yes. Very interesting. Wow, spicy and hot. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean about like there are some bones inside, but the fish is very, very tender. It's very, very soft. Yeah, like this is one of the softest fish I've ever had. Like it might be the way that they cook it and also the fact that it's in oil right now, but the fish itself is also very, very soft. Yeah. Boy, you can't handle the bones? Come on. Chongqing people have been eating this for years and they're completely okay. So be adventurous and take on the challenge. It's worth it, trust me. While you may not have all the seasonings necessary to make Wanzhou grilled fish on your own, with Chinese Sichuan broad beans spicy sauce 36 degrees, you can make a variety of dishes from home. And Yuxiang shredded pork is one of the best ways to use this sauce. Not very spicy and suitable for almost everyone. 
You can also go to our website, www.chineseofficial.com, to check out our other sauces with different packaging options and spicy degrees. I'm sure you can find one you love. Oh man, it seems like there's not much fish left. Should we maybe order something else? Yes, you want? Like we can add more. Fish or add more vegetables? Uh, only for vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. The flavor in this juice is very nice. Yeah. So if you add vegetables, it'll just soak up this juice, I guess. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, let's add some vegetables. Okay. Wow, so much more food. So what, we have some cucumbers here. I like cucumbers. These are the bean sprouts, right? Yes, bean sprouts are the fungus. Oh, the ear fungus, like the, yeah. like the wood ear fungus. It's very popular in China, but it's hard to find those, those like this fungus abroad, like abroad in the supermarkets. Usually, you can find them in like the Asian supermarkets. <laughs> wow. Crunchy. Oh yeah, a little bit. So after we eating like spicy food, yeah. the good thing is there's like you know some dessert, some dessert. I think this one is like a, a small bread. Ah, uh, yeah, like a little bun. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's very interesting with the ice because the ice has no flavor, but the sweetness of everything else. Yeah. This whole ice cream. Wow. <laughs> I like the cream actually. What's the flavor like? Chocolate. If you have sensitive teeth, be careful eating this dish. <laughs> It's very very cold, so it like almost hurts your teeth a little bit. Yeah, I just want to see that. Yeah. Like, uh, my, my teeth is very sensitive. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what do you think we should eat the next time? Let's go try. Ooh. Yes. Alright guys, so if you want to see where we're going on the next video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to turn on the notification bell so that you can receive the notification next time we post a video. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. So until then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.